Good day everyone. Please subscribe, like and share these videos as widely as possible to help my channel grow. We continue with our reading today and will read from Genesis 24 in the King James 1611 Bible. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house, that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. So Abraham asks his servant to travel to his native land, which is over 720 kilometers away, to get a wife for his son. But notice this servant here. It says that this eldest of his servants ruled over all that Abraham had. I want you to think of this man as more of a business partner, or at the very least, the manager. He was an important man. You probably also wondered what this man's name was or why scripture is silent on his name. Well, actually just read Genesis 15 verse 2 and you will see that his name is Eliezer and he comes from Damascus. Incidentally, Eliezer means comforter and scripture is quiet on his name to show a typology of the Holy Spirit. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me unto this land. Must I needs bring thy son again unto the land from whence thou camest? And Abraham said to him, Beware thou that thou bring not my son thither again. Here is the family tree of Terah. Terah was the father of Abraham, Nahor, Haran, and Sarai. Yes, Sarai and Abram had the same father, but different mothers. Here we see that Rebekah is the daughter of Bethuel, son of Nahor, Abraham's brother. She is of course the lady that Eliezer will fetch for Isaac to marry later in this chapter. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that swear unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land, he shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then thou shalt be clear from this my oath. Only bring not my son thither again. Strange emphasis on this. Don't let Isaac go there. And the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swear unto him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master and departed, for all the goods of his master were in his hand. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahor. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day, and shew kindness unto thy master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let it come to pass, that the damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink, and she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast shewed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass before he had done speaking that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her, and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. 
And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hasted and laid down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. And she hasted and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. And the man wondering at her held his peace to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold. And said, Whose daughter art thou, tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor. She said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I, being in the way the Lord, led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and bracelets upon his sister's hands, and when he heard the words of Rebekah his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and a room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the men's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he is become great. And he hath given him flocks and herds, and silver and gold, and men servants and maid servants, and camels and asses. And Sarah, my master's wife, bare a son to my master when she was old, and unto him hath he given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee and prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred and of my father's house. Then shalt thou be clear from this my oath, when thou comest to my kindred, and if they give not thee one, thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well, and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if thou do prosper my way which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass, that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. And she say to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed out for my master's son. And before I had done speaking in mine heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste and let down her pitcher from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earring upon her face and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, 
which had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels and silver and jewels of gold and raiment and gave them unto Rebekah. He gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at the least ten. After that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel, and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah, and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah, and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rebekah arose, and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels, and followed the man. And the servant took Rebekah, and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well Lehiroi, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that, had done, that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Alright, a bit of a long chapter. Remember I told you in the last wisdom video that Genesis 24 follows from Genesis 22, the Akedah. In that video, we talked about the typology. Here we see the typology of Abraham is the father, of Isaac is the son, and of the servant, Eliezer, is the Holy Spirit. It should also go without saying that this is all of course prophetic as well, as if staged for the benefit of a future generation. In Genesis 22, at the end, we read how Abraham and his men returned to Beersheba, but it says nothing of Isaac. We only hear from Isaac again in this chapter when he meets his bride. Remember the topology I've just shown you? Isaac is the son. Well, Jesus, after he was offered, is also not with us until he comes again to meet his bride. The Holy Spirit is here to serve the Father by collecting us, his bride, and to bring us to him. Isn't it amazing? We also see how the model of the ancient traditional Hebrew wedding is also a sort of typology or a prophetic foretelling of what is to come to pass. Jesus paid the price on the cross, thereby purchasing his bride, just like what happens at the ketubah or betrothal. Then Jesus went home to prepare a place for us, his bride. This will be followed by him coming back and us meeting him in the air, a surprise gathering and wedding, followed by a great feast lasting for a long time, just like the seven-day marriage supper. And we can see the fulfillment of this prophetic marriage in Scripture. The covenant is established in 1 Corinthians 11. 
the purchase price in 1 Corinthians 6. The bride is set apart in Ephesians 5 verse 25 to 26 and many other verses. We are reminded of the covenant in 1 Corinthians 11. The bridegroom leaves for the father's house and an escort accompanying him upon his return in 1 Thessalonians 4. See, scripture is an integrated design. It is not the Old and the New Testaments. It is one book. Listen carefully to the following statement. The Old Testament is the New Testament concealed. And the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. Unfortunately, this is all we have time for today. Please like, subscribe and even comment on these videos. Share as widely as possible as this will help my channel to grow. Don't forget to leave a donation. Instructions on how to do so will follow. God bless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. You can help us create better videos by leaving a donation on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you. We hope to see you next time.